does the elevator go? Uh, the elevator goes down into the basement. The basement is a place where we store a lot of the materials, a lot of the equipment, and many of these are of a size and weight that you can't uh, transport via stairs. And so there is a freight elevator that moves between the, the two stories of the facility. So there is a basement, and that, uh, that clarifies that point. Uh, 2019, it was your first year as uh, NCC uh, CEO. That was the year that the budget was approved. Uh, you were fresh off from being a municipal councillor where you were accountable to your ratepayers for, for value for money and for dollars. So in your first year, you saw a budget be approved by your board for $8.6 million for this storage facility. As a former accountable um, politician, were, you, were there no red flags raised at that point in your mind about an $8-plus million dollar facility? Mr. Chair, one thing I said at the outset that Bear is repeating is $8 million is a lot of money. And I have a responsibility to my board and to the taxpayers of this country to deliver all of the NCC budget as effectively and efficiently as, as possible. So if, if the question is, did I ask the questions, the answer is yes. And I think the staff can, can c confirm that a big part of my job is challenging numbers, asking questions, ensuring that we are delivering projects as effectively as possible. So as an addendum to that, were any considerations given to alternatives to actually constructing such, such a facility, including off-site facilities? Um, the answer is yes, there was some consideration given to whether or not this is a this is a facility that could be built off-site, um, and that was actually a line of inquiry um, that I initiated uh, shortly after arriving. The answer was no, in large part due to the fact that Rideau Hall, being 79 acres, is really the locus, the center of where a lot of the maintenance work happens, and it wouldn't have been cost-effective to build something like this off-site. That was the conclusion, um, given the fact that um, the employees who work in Alexi's shop are, are based on-site and need to have easy access to the equipment. How many bidders were there for the contract that Palmerler Palmerlo ultimately won? I wasn't at the NCC at the time. I believe it was, I mean, is that information that's publicly available? I think it was three, but I'm going to sort of... Can we confirm that in writing yeah. to the committee within three weeks at the most? Yeah. Thank you for that. Um, Pomerleau had the ultimate contract. How many subcontracts were there in total? So my recollection of the project is that there were 20 subcontracts that were bid uh, in a competitive fashion. And how many of those were sole, sor sole source? or had only a single bidder? Mr. Chair, I can answer part, part of the question in the sense that uh, amounts below uh, a certain amount, there would have been some sole, sole sourcing done for smaller amounts. How many uh, single bidders within the 20? I don't have that, that information. Before. What is that amount, like in terms of the, uh, the number where there would be sole source? What would be the dollar figure? I, I don't think we have it on hand. Uh, it would be a, my guess would be it would be a small proportion of the overall contract amount. Could you, could you confirm all of that in writing for this committee, including the number of contracts, the amounts, uh, and whether they were sole sourced or a single uh, single uh, bidder? Uh, yes, yes that's acknowledgement. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Uh, thank you, Chair. Um, was GC Strategies involved in any of these contracts? Has NCC done any work with GC Strategies? No. Thank you for that. I know it's a little off topic, but uh, it uh, was something that we thought uh, ought to get to get it, get in uh, in, in, uh, in public. Uh, in your corporate plan, uh, 2022 to 23, 23 to 2026, 2027, uh, you write, however, going forward, these are no longer viable means to mitigate the impact of the financial pressures as described in this summary of the corporate plan. The NCC's operating revenue r reserves will be depleted by the end of the second year of the plan. Furthermore, the NCC's ability to generate additional revenues is reaching a plateau due to limitations in its legislative authorities. So this is in your corporate plan, basically saying that, you know, your reserves are going to be more or less depleted, but at the same time, you're coming to us and justifying an $8 million, $8 million plus um, storage facility or whatever we want to 
planet. Question, please. Uh, is this really a good use of taxpayer dollars? Mr. Chair, I think it's really important to note the difference between our operating budget and our capital budget. And I believe the line the member was referring to in the corporate plan was referring to the fact that we've had static budgets in operating. And as I say, um, thankfully, uh, we do, we have, uh, over the course of the last five years, received additional capital funds that have allowed us to, to start addressing the deferred maintenance challenge. Thank you very much.